Hello everyone, Chuck Dredd here, Kingdom 1189 Viperus. Going to show you the really fast and simple way of doing Ian's Ballad. Okay, it's not a challenge at the moment, but it is some good loot. Three DPS, one tank, definitely. Um, and you'll probably go for um, whatever the adds are weak to, cavalry in this case. So we're going to go for a march to the first respawn point, okay? And um, the one by the first boss, because we really don't need to kill the mobs beforehand. Okay. For some reason, we send one each from all four. You don't need to. You could just have one, so just the tank or whoever interested. It makes sense to be the tanks to take less damage to get the fastest they can there. Okay. Um, yeah, I use Khan, not the best idea, because obviously has a speed decrease when it's hit, but it gets there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get to that first boss as quick as possible. We don't care about killing the adds, they just waste time. And there has been some negativity mentioned in the past around the fact that you don't get the loot chests that drop from them. But actually, you get plenty from the end, and you can only pick up three per person anyway. So, um, might make little sense to some people, but all you can do here is um, suicide. Okay, All you want to do is get rid of your marchers, because you have a lovely respawn camp there right next to you. Okay, The resting campsite. So, get yourself killed as quick as possible. If it was only myself who'd sent the march, I would drag the adds back up to where the boss was, because then it means the others could respawn quicker. But we're going to have a little bit of patience for once in our life and we're going to wait for these to walk away. As soon as they've walked away, we will respawn. Okay. Now, it doesn't really matter what you use. Okay. Now, these ones are weak to cav, but I'm used to being archers. So I'm going to run with Ramesses, tanking, decent DPS. I'm going to run Elsid. Yeah. Not everyone's first choice, but you know I just need single target DPS here. So I don't need the usual YSJ Artemis that I use. And actually, he will get me to the next uh, boss that a little bit quicker. So I'm going to come out before the others if possible, you know, always get the tank pull if you can, just means they get enmity a bit easier, they get the first counter damage, they get their skill bar raising the quicker their rage. I'm going to go around the edge a little bit because the only thing about this boss really of any interest is he's got a simple forward facing AoE cone. So keep everyone else behind it, why not, okay? The only thing that takes time in Ian's Ballad is the sitting around in the camp, okay, waiting to hear he troops up. So less troops that die the quicker. Okay, you'll see here we're all running about 200k troops, if not more. So it'll take a second's worth of going to the camp after this before we march on to the next respawn camp. Okay, you'll see I take a slightly odd route here. That's just for, and I don't really know when or how, but in the past um, I did get attacked by every single bear possible. And they've got a stacking debuff and uh, that killed me, which was somewhat embarrassing. Luckily, obviously the other three made it through because I'd taken that initial hit. But we're gonna waddle our way through um, and we're gonna go to the next respawn camp exactly the same way we did the first one. Okay, we're gonna walk through, we're gonna activate it, we're gonna have a bit of a party there, and then we're gonna suicide. Yeah, as simple as that. Because actually all we're trying to do is avoid having to kill all these mobs. Yeah, they don't take too long, but you are looking at probably five, 10 minutes. Um, we've all got better things to do. So you can see more behind, and Cora and Maeve. So activate and suicide. Okay, simple as that. And again, all we've got to do, and sometimes that we fail miserably at uh, a lot of uh, randoms I've done it with, is spawning too quickly. So just wait for everyone to go down. It doesn't take too long. And then we'll uh, come out. Okay, this boss is really, really straightforward. Again, um, it's just a straightforward fight with adds. Okay, there's no AoE. All it is is that you can have two bears spawn. And when those bears spawn, um, you need to kill them quickly because they mean it takes a lot less damage, it takes longer. Okay, I'm going to use YSG in this time. Okay, adds YSG, makes perfect sense. But also, I'm not intending to wipe before the next bit, which is all about killing lots and lots of adds um, very, very slowly. So, Maeve does the usual trick of going in early. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to taunt off him. We're going to try and keep it. It'll probably go back to him because, again, I've lost that initial enmity, that initial build of the rage bar, and he's using skills. So, we'll kill this one off nice and quick. Um, somewhat embarrassingly, no adds actually spawn. It goes down quick enough. But if they do, not a big issue. Do remember, coming into this, you can obviously have war friends, you can obviously have runes, okay? And if they add spawn, please do prioritize them. Yeah, they just take a lot longer to kill the boss if you've got them active. And try and remember that mantra, okay? Yeah, that prioritization of adds, it's exactly what we've done on Torgny, it's exactly what you're gonna do when the healing totems come on the final boss. Okay, so now is the ambush, which kind of loses its effect after the 80th time you've done it. But we'll get everyone through when they wake up. You see most people here are using Khan YSG, or more using direct YSG, just because the AOE makes it quicker, okay? And uh, obviously DPS isn't bad behind a Khan. 
So we're gonna kill these ads. We're gonna make sure we kill them off to one side. That's probably the hardest thing in the whole of Ian's Ballad, you know, is make sure you kill them away from the boss. Because actually, we just don't want it to be that that boss aggro's on us before we get a chance to heal up. Yeah, especially if you're doing this at slightly lower power. You know, I do it on my farm that's 50 mil, I'm a 40 mil. And actually, if I don't heal up, um, I've got a good chance of wiping. And uh, I've got better things to be doing, like I said. So we kill these off. Yeah, nice and quick and easy. Keep them over to the side. You'll see we've gone a bit too far to the left. So I'll drag it back over. Um, I think this is where we find out that Morks are falling asleep, which is always good. But we'll wake them up at some point. It's probably hard to tell, to be fair. So kill the ads off. Boss spawns and heal up beforehand if you can. Okay, there's not too many ads. They don't do anything too special. Now, if they aggro on the DPS, don't worry about it. Just uh, clear them out as soon as you can. Okay, I don't bother using any skills. I don't bother using taunt. I don't really care if they're on the DPS. Yeah, most DPS can easily handle them. So we're just far enough away now that the uh, boss won't spawn us. So we would have the perfect opportunity to heal. Unless, of course, um, we have a Maeve. Okay, Maeve likes to run in there without even healing because he's um, that much of a psycho. So you'll notice um, the boss is, well, A, getting soloed by Maeve, but also um, has got an AoE around it. That AoE does not do huge damage, okay, but it does start to stack up a little bit. And the big thing about this boss is the healing totems, like I've already said, okay? Those totems heal it up and heal it up quick, okay? Yep, Mork appears to have woken up now. Not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. But what I will do is I'm going to keep my cursor moving, wait for the healing totem. Okay, it's spawned there just behind Maeve and behind Mork. So we'll jump on that, okay? No reason why everyone doesn't go on it. The only thing is I could potentially have stayed on the boss to try and get my Ramesses um, expertise on it to stop it healing. But not a big issue. It goes down quick. It's easy. And we all celebrate with the loot. And we slag Maeve off by making things harder at every opportunity. But, you know, it's not difficult. It's probably a 5-10 minute job. And it's really good to lose at the end. Thank you so much. Look after yourselves.